Our new exhibition at the Marina Bay Sands Art Science Museum takes you back in time about 600 million years to when dinosaurs first roamed the Earth. Now, the massive showcase has over 400 fossils and models and 50 artworks from three corners of the globe. So let's bring you there. First place where they're from is in America, in New York, the American Museum of Natural History. Its collection is home to an estimated 4.75 million specimens of extinct plants and animals. The next place is all the way in Argentina at the San Juan National Science Museum. This is what uh, you can expect. It studies some of the oldest known dinosaur remains at a UNESCO World Heritage Site at the foothills of the Andes. And the last place that we're getting them from is all the way down under in Australia at the Sci Expo under Monash's, uh, the Monash University rather. It has fossils from at least six different types of dinosaurs. So this is what the exhibition looks like and it's touted as Southeast Asia's largest one so far all about dinosaurs covering about 3,700 square meters of space. Now the exhibition opened over the weekend and will be here until the end of July. So to tell us more about it is curator Dr. Patricia Vickers-Rich. Welcome to the studio. Thanks Thank for joining us for today. So this is supposed to be Southeast Asia's largest dinosaur exhibition. A lot of species. Uh, we're going to bring up one which is called the Herrera source. Is that correct? Beautiful that pronunciation. They open Absolutely. the exhibition. Yes, they do. They invite you for dinner and you're the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> So you've also got the largest dinosaur from about 210 million years ago. Tell us more about that. Well, that is a thing called Lesmosaurus, and it is the first big dinosaur because dinosaurs start out about that high and they grow gradually, but they've got a lot of competition before they get big in size. And that is the biggest one about 2,210 million years ago. Wow. It's the one on the right hand side and it's being attacked by a giant crocodile like reptile that is not a dinosaur. So you're going to have to learn how to tell the difference between really? dinosaurs and other things. Very interesting. Yeah. So there's one called the Elvis dinosaur as well. That got me quite interested. Oh, that's Why one of my Elvis? favorites. Yeah, one of my friends and I exchanged dinosaurs. And the dinosaur he sent to me was a form called Cryolophosaurus, which is a dinosaur from uh, the Antarctic, from the Jurassic period. And everyone knows the Jurassic. But you can see is that, why is that he why? is. Yes, he wears <laughs> his hair or his bone like Elvis wore his hair. So that's why it's called Elvis. Okay. Okay, so the exhibition, I understand, is quite interactive. Uh, sounds, smells. Tell us a bit more about the smells. You had to oh, travel I've all the way to the seaside. Never have an exhibition that I've worked with had smells in it. And I get a package in the mail from the Art Science Museum, and they said, could you pick out the smells that we want for the desert, for the ocean, for the rainforest? And I just sat there one night smelling, 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 and we picked these smells out. So these will be the education pockets in the exhibition, mm -hmm. and the kids will get the smells of those areas, which is the first exhibition I've ever, Actually, that's, that's quite ever heard about having it. And um, not just all these fossils and huge skeletons of dinosaurs, you have paintings as well from an Australian artist called Peter Trussler. Peter Trussler. Yes. Tell us more about him. Peter Trussler is probably the best on the planet of the reconstruction artists. He is a modern landscape painter. He also does portraiture, but he basically paints the science and he is a scientist himself. So he goes into the detail. Mm -hmm. He has to know every plant, every insect, everything that's around that he uh, is trying to reconstruct. Uh, so it's worth coming to see, and he explains exactly how he goes about doing these things. Interesting. So he kind of acts like a bridge between art and science. Absolutely. And that's uh, the Art Science Museum is, is the only museum on the planet that I think actually takes both art and science seriously at the same time. Okay, so tell us a bit more about the work of a paleontologist. I, I'm pretty sure it looks a lot more glamorous in the movies like Jurassic Park, but you know, what are the biggest misconceptions? Well, the ease with which they discovered everything in, uh, in Jurassic Park. They go there, they, they take their x-ray machine, they take their brushes and they just dust everything off. Well, that's not the way it works. We had to do our dinosaur cove uh, work in southern Australia with jackhammers, underground, etc., etc., etc. It's hard and it takes time. Mm -hmm. And not only do you collect, but you have to take them back to the, la the lab mm -hmm. and you have to prepare them. It can take years. So it really can take years. It's a lifetime dedication. It is, and it's, I love it. One more question for you. Uh, when visitors go down to the exhibition, what do you th hope they will take home from the showcase? I hope they will take home what's happened in the past and use it for working on the, the future because we are the only species on this planet that ever had the ability of looking back, looking at the present and planning for the future. And we need to nurture our Earth very, very desperately need to do that. Right, so learn from the past and present and get, do a bright job about planning for your future. Thank you very okay. much for coming today. It's Thank you very to you. much. Yes, it's nice speaking to you too.
And that was Patricia. And the exhibition, of course, runs uh, from now until July 27th at the Marina Bay Sands Art Science Museum. So head down if you have the time.